Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can tell if a Marantz receiver has been restored. So as we all know, the prices of these things have been creeping up and up quite a bit over the past 10 years, especially in the last year. But the other thing that's gone up on these receivers is age, and sometimes age can warrant a nice restoration for one of these receivers. Lots of these are being sold on eBay and Facebook Marketplace right now, being dubbed as restored. But it's not exactly easy to tell if they've actually been restored sometimes. So this video is going to take a look inside of this receiver, and we're going to talk about how you can tell if it's been restored or not. So what we've got here is the Marantz 2215B. This is the uh, second smallest Marantz receiver from this uh, era, next to the uh, 2015, or 2010 if you want to count that also. So the first thing we need to do to tell if this has actually been restored is remove the cover. If you're buying one of these receivers and in the listing there's no pictures of the cover removed, you can't tell if it's actually been restored. So any seller that is telling you that a Marantz receiver has been restored and they're not showing you what's inside of here is probably hiding something. It really irks me when people ask all this money for these receivers and label them as restored and then they don't put their money where their mouth is by showing them a picture of what's going on inside. So let's take a look at this one. Let's focus on the uh, power amp board right here. And what we're going to be looking for on this board is what the capacitors look like. So on an unrestored Marantz receiver, you will oftentimes find gray or black covered electrolytic capacitors. Electrolytic capacitors are these cylinder looking things here. Another giveaway for if a receiver has not been restored is these little tiny blue ones here. These blue ones are called tantalum capacitors and they are always on the list of parts to get replaced when a receiver is being restored. And if the color of the capacitors isn't enough for you, oftentimes in these receivers you see two brand names of capacitors. You will see Elna right here like this gray one and then it's very tiny but on this black one here it'll say Nippin Chemicon or Chemicon or whatever it's supposed to be. These are the two main brands you will see inside of a uh, vintage Marantz receiver and that goes for some of the pioneers and other receivers also. If you see those colors, if you see those brands, it's likely original. If we want to go over to the tuner board, it's the same thing. Another color of original capacitor is this light bluish purplish color. And again, here's the black ones. We have uh, gray ones here. We know just by looking at this board that it's got all original capacitors. This board has not been restored. Now I'm going to put on the screen a picture of a Marantz 2215B I restored about four years ago. As you can see, all the capacitors look different from the ones you just saw in the receiver I just showed you. You see brands like Nichicon. You see these reddish pinkish uh, capacitors. Looking at this picture you can tell that all these capacitors look a little bit newer. They're different colors and they're uh, not really dusty like the old ones were in the uh, receiver I was just showing. Let's start with the amp board. We see capacitors with kind of like a dark purplish color. These are Nichicon PW series capacitors, and these are kind of the standard go-to for a restoration of a vintage receiver. Around these, you see uh, these box-looking things that are kind of like reddish or pinkish in color. Those are film capacitors, and those are generally used to replace tantalum capacitors or low capacitance uh, capacitors in the uh, signal path of the amplifier. Looking at the power supply board, we see that the big filter cap has been replaced. Next over to the phono preamps, same thing. We have some film capacitors, brand new electrolytic capacitors, and the tutor board definitely has new capacitors on it also. So really it is that simple. You just gotta know what to look for in the capacitors that are installed on the receiver. One thing I do believe that should exist in a good and proper restoration is replacement of select transistors, especially in the power supply, preamp, and amplifier sections. But unfortunately it's not easy to tell just from a photograph if those parts have been replaced. So at the end of the day, if a seller is selling a restored Marantz receiver, and there's no pictures in the listing of the cover removed and you can't look inside, you have no idea if you're buying a restored receiver or not. So if you really are interested, ask for a picture of the inside. And if they don't give it to you, well, they're probably hiding something because it's literally four Phillips screws to remove the cover. It's not hard to take a cover off. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.